What's up guys? We're in Pawtucket, Rhode Island today. We're gonna be chilling with Matthew Tavares. He's a sponsored BMX biker. He's gonna show us his bikes, his cars, and maybe even a few tricks. Let go. So I got a hard top on this. They're pretty hard to find a hard top for these cars. Mm -hmm. So I ended up built, putting a, a little rack on it, a little Yakima rack. So I only put one of them instead of two. And there's a luggage rack. This is for actual luggages. Okay. So basically I just connected both together and it worked out pretty smooth. So I haven't really so. seen much people who do that. So, I mean, there's always a fresh for something, so. No, that's sick, dude. Yeah, thank you. I've never seen like a car driving around with the BMX bike on. Yeah, oh. should see my e-bike on later. Make sure where I keep all my cars and my bikes. This is my other one, my boosted one. It's okay. almost done. And this is my roommate's, um, Clay Graf, follow him on Instagram, YouTube, Mini okay, AF, right. one of a kind, one of one. So you built this? like? Yeah, I built this or? one. Um, I ended up crashing it, then redid the whole front end and did the whole motor and stuff. Uh, took me a few, but yeah, it's almost done. I'm not rushing or anything. How long have you been doing uh, BMX? BMX, probably like 12 years, 14 years. I've been, wow. I've been at it for a while, so Damn. yeah, I love it. Uh, Clay Graf, the one that does the mini, he, we did the powder coating. It's like a paint job, but instead of painting it, you spray it with dust and it, it like magnetized into the frame. Okay. Onto the metal. And you heat it up on the oven and okay. it just it comes out like this. It matches my car, so that's why I did it. I got my e-bike right here, my shirt on. I'm in the process of tuning it, yeah. uh, switching the tires and stuff. Uh, we're gonna go be out riding tonight. So we're with a couple of friends, Chiron PVD, follow them. Everyone who rides Chiron's electric bikes, anything electric, uh, basically hit me up, Chiron PVD. We'll add you to the group chat and we'll meet up. We always meet up in the city. Yeah, I kind of beat it up. How long did it take uh, you to learn to do a wheelie? Uh, it took me a few months, definitely. Definitely took me a few months. Yeah. But I mean, you gotta fall, you gotta play the game. I, I grew up riding dirt bikes too. Oh, okay. So that kind of did help me a I'm lot. Kind of used to it. Yeah, I'm used to falling. What do you like better, <laughs> a dirt bike or the e-bike? Uh, e-bike, e-bike is just more con uh, convenient. Yeah. Uh, it's not loud or nothing. No one really complains or anything. So I can ride this anywhere, anywhere. True, it's mad quiet. Exactly, real quiet. I got enough charge to get to Providence back. Nice. And the dirt bike is just noisy. Everyone hates the noise. So I got a few bikes more, a few more bikes. Uh, a little mini bike, a little fat tire bike over here. Uh, okay. Everything gets beat on, everything gets beat on. So I just, it was just a cruiser bike. Just, cruiser you know bike. what I mean, cardio. Gotta do my cardio, you know? And I also got a mountain bike over there. I just got for uh, the woods and stuff. So we're gonna be doing down downhill jumping and stuff. Like trails and stuff. So, yeah, it's just another activity that I enjoy. Like That's doing fire, dude. anything with two wheels. What's going yeah. on with this engine over here? So I have a turbo on it, a turbo system. Uh, I want to clean it up a little bit more. Uh, I don't, I'm not, not missing too much. It's about 90% done. I need injectors and uh, a tune and stuff. And it's ready to go. I just, it's, uh, good things take time. This is uh, number six and number seven Miatas I've had before. Like project cars? Project cars, just Miatas. During the week, maybe at the end of the day, I'll spend like like two hours in this place, probably. Depends on my project, depends what I'm doing. Right. I'm doing bike things, e-bike things, yeah. or car things. How long have you had this like space to work in? Uh, about about three to four years I've been here for really? just about. I grew up fixing my bike all the time, so yeah. I think that's what, what, what made it, you know? And when I got my license, I started working on cars right away. So that's smart. It's culture. I mean, if you enjoy it, go do it. You know. I can show you what's in the inside, where uh, where I do the the digital stuff, the uh, computer okay. stuff. My little uh, wow. gaming room. My little chill spot, the work spot, that's brainstorming insane. room, whatever you want to call it. This is where I do all my stuff for digital media. So you do your own like videos and everything? I do my own videos. I try to do my own filming. I have cameras, my 360 cameras, regular, regular cameras. You got the acoustic treatment up? Yeah, I did all that a couple years ago. I did the lighting. Thank you to Jake, my buddy Jake too. He gave me these uh, housing for the LED, so it works out pretty right. well. So this is where like, you brainstorm your ideas on the whiteboard and stuff? Yeah, I write it down, I go from there. This desk, actually, I built it when I first moved here. You built this I desk? I built this whole desk, yeah. yeah. Uh, I ended up framing it in here. In here. I had to do everything in here because it was too big. I ended up doing um, stain and um, poly right on it, so. Dual monitor set up. Got the game. I don't know what it's called, this thing. Oh, uh, Kandama? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's been way too long. That's why I stopped doing this.
Thanks for watching today's video. If you made it this far, just make sure you guys hit the subscribe button so you can see more passionate people.